Hello, beautiful. This is a journey to the Africana Woman Festival. My name is Chulu, your host here on the show and at the festival. As you know, the festival is on the 2nd to the 3rd of August at Chenna Art House in Nkwashi. Guys, 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 I am so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so that weekend is actually a long weekend. So it's going to be a party after party, party after party. Come and join us. We're going to have such a good time. So today I just wanted to talk a little bit about something that has stuck with me. Last week, um, the Africana Woman Book Club had a review and we were reading Black Cake and um, some of you may have watched it. I think it's on Hulu or something like that. Um, and if you've read the book, then you know the premise, right? Basically, a mom uh, passes away. She leaves two children and then um, her final message to them is her her life story in, in its entirety. So there's a few confessions in there, a few surprises, you know, <laughs> lots of stuff. But anyway, so at the book review, um, our wonderful, wonderful host, who was Sumili, shout out to Sumili, she asked a question. She said, you know, should the mom not have said something whilst she was alive versus, you know, the children finding out when she had passed on? And, um, you know, people responded and said different things, but there's something someone said. One person said this, and it really stuck with me. It stuck with me this whole week. And um, I'm paraphrasing her answer, but basically she said, listen, you know, um, when you look at our, our parents, um, their generation and the generations before may not have had um, ways that they could really process um, things that have happened to them, traumatic things that have happened to them. They may not have had um, all this access to therapy or um, safe spaces to be able to just go and get some form of healing versus our generation and the, the, the generations after us who, you know, we've got access to so much information at our fingertips. It's in our our hands literally you know our phones we are um we're searching we're looking for looking up all these different things you know we we were finding the names of the or the terminologies of the things that we may be experiencing right so back in the day the people may not have known about all this mental health um you know different types of um, uh, mental conditions and things like that. But we actually have the opportunity to know the names and know how to deal with them, know the coping mechanisms. So we find this help. Again, I'm paraphrasing, guys. <laughs> so we find this help in, um, we find it on the internet. We find it in therapy, right? We find it in counseling. We find it in groups. And she said, now this is where, this is what got me. She said, um, you know, we have spaces like this, which is group therapy. Um, and when she's saying spaces like this, she's meaning the book club. Spaces like this, which is group therapy. And, you know, our parents may not have had that, you know. So it's very difficult for them to just come and open up. Have you ever had a situation where you, you're kind of thinking about, hmm, has my, my has my mother, my father ever said I love you? Like the actual words, I love you. Um, have your parents, did your parents ever hug you, you know? Um, and then here you are, you grow up and you're like trying to force your mom or your dad, say, I love you. Tell me I love you. And they're just looking at you like, what is wrong with this child? Didn't I do everything for her, for her to know that I love her? But anyway, um, point being, um, the Africana woman book club is therapy. And to be honest, when I think about 
When I think about all the other spaces, right now we just wrapped up um, a free masterclass that's called um, 3D Keys. And it's all about designing a life that you absolutely love, right? It's called 3D Keys. And someone uh, commented in there, she's like, you know what, just become my therapist. <laughs> <laughs> just from listening to um the 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 course right she's just like this was so needed i so needed to do this reflection and really just go deep within and you know and even just the conversations that we have in the book club in the visionaries um in the other courses at the wellness retreats like it's therapy and i think you know, sometimes it's it's easy to get caught up in thinking that therapy looks only one way, right? Therapy looks only one way. Or the way that someone should get help is only one way in terms of, you know, be it, um, oh, uh, you must go see a therapist. Uh, you must pay them and then you go sit and you you tell them all the, your, your issues and that's the only way. But that's not true. That's not true, guys. There's so many ways that you can find your healing, that your self-discovery is unfolding, that your journey to being and becoming the best version of yourself is unfolding there's just so many ways and because we're such unique beings we can never really expect it to look exactly like the person that sits next to us or opposite us right we it's not a cookie cutter it looks different every single time so i think it was just really um it was really touching for me um, as the founder of Africana Woman because obviously when I had started Africana Woman, I wasn't really thinking, oh, this is therapy. <laughs> but um, to hear somebody say, oh, and not even somebody, to hear people say quite often that in the space they find um, that healing, that um, they find what they needed in that moment you know, I, I, I just, I find it such a, a blessing and an honor. Um, certainly, uh, the things that I absolutely, absolutely love, I mean, I love a lot of things about African women, but I'll just mention a few things. The first part is how we are a community of women from such a wide range of ages right we have 19 year olds all the way through to 70. can you imagine the type of conversations that we have now just let me put it this way um you may be living you know you may be at home thinking oh i wish i could have talked about this with my mother i wish i had that type of conversation with my grandmother um, or you may be thinking, oh, I really wonder what my children are thinking. Like, what are they experiencing in this day and age, you know? And what we get to do by having such a wide range of ages in the Africana women community is bridge this generational divide. So you may not have found it in your family or the people that are most closest to you, but you will certainly find such beautifully intricate and rich conversations in the Africana woman community. Um, another thing that I love so much is that we are women first. And what I mean by that is uh, it gets so frustrating. You know how you go into spaces and then everyone is like introducing themselves by their um, their titles and accolades um, and then expecting a certain form of, what word can I use? Um, a certain form of, uh, okay, the word that's coming up for me is idolation, right? Um you know, I am doctor this, I am engineer so, I am a minister so-so, <laughs> whatever, you know, the title is. 
and you know you expect to be treated in a certain way and even the people who come you know have you ever been to like a a, a school reunion and it's just like everyone is talking about oh i've done this i've done that and you're like oh god <laughs> <laughs> kind of like that, right? But that's that's not what we do in Africana women. We're women first, um, before the accolades, before the titles, before the roles. We are all women first, and you know, the, we talk to each other in such a respectful way, and uh, you know, we introduce each other as our first name. So you'd say like, "Oh, my name is Chulu." Um, and you, it's, you don't even feel the need or the necessity to now start saying, oh, I am Shani, I did this. And that. No, you're a woman first and you can just be the woman first, you know, it's, it's so, it's just a beautiful thing, really. And you see what this done is it equalizes people in a sense that, um, you know, whatever background you're coming from, economic, um, social, whatever, that's not relevant here. Um, what is relevant is that you are beautifully and wonderfully made and you are um, a woman that we just love and adore, you know? So, yeah, and I think one more, maybe one or two more things. But anyway, one more thing that I love is how we have, we have group or, uh, no, I want to use the word peer-to-peer -peer mentorship, right? Peer-to-peer -peer conversations, peer-to-peer -peer, um, sharing. And what I mean by this is, you know, you can go to a therapist or you can go to a counselor, your pastor, whoever, and, uh, you know, you're doing that one-on-one -on -one thing. And you're kind of only getting one view, one perspective, one opinion, you know. And it's also very, very focused on just your um, specific lived experience, right? So it's very, it's in a sense, it's very limited. However, when we come into a space like, um, like the book review, and then one question is asked, and then you find like four, five, six, seven, however many people are going to give an answer. And it's so varied. It's so diverse. It's so um, enriching to hear the different perspectives, to hear um, maybe even questions that or answers or questions that you never thought to ask or answers that you, you, you never knew you needed, right? And it's for me, it's kind of like an accelerated form of growth because you're getting so much more from just being in um, a group setting uh, and, you know, having that peer-to-peer -peer, um, conversation. So I really, really, really do love that. Um, and I guess the final thing that I really love is that we... <laughs> yeah, we tend to go deep really quick and the conversations are very respectful. Um, I, I can only imagine, you know, when someone is coming into our community for the first time and then they're just like, hey, <laughs> that was that was fast. <laughs> How did we get here? Like we got so deep so fast. <laughs> but it's somewhere where you can have these open, honest, authentic, bold, um, vulnerable conversations without fear of retaliation, judgment, accusation, um, and just uh, a feeling of fear, you know, that doesn't really exist. Um, well, I, I mean, fear may exist, you know, you may be afraid like, oh, if I post this, I don't know what people say, but then you find that um, people will be very loving and um, embrace you. Uh, so yeah, I just, I love that the conversations can, can be that way, can be in a way that is so empowering for you as a woman to be seen, to be heard, to be acknowledged and to be celebrated, you know? So yeah, I, I, 
you see what I mean when I said that 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 one statement about how Africana woman is um, is therapy, right? Uh, really got me thinking, got me thinking about what do I really love about the community? But more than that, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's sort of like, it's sort of like affordable therapy. More often than not, we're complaining, you know, you hear people say, oh, no, I can't afford to do therapy. Therapy is so expensive, so on and so forth. Um, but... I feel like, you know, coming into a space like Africana Woman, um, you know, I mean, the book club is free, you know, and then you get to have these absolutely phenomenal conversations for free, for free, babes. So it's affordable therapy, right? And you, we meet you where you are. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I think it's just been really nice, really, really nice. Um, in terms of where we are uh, for the preparations of the Africana Woman Festival, we are um, full swing into uh, advertising and marketing. I'm sure you will hear um, radio adverts uh, on Money FM, on... Um, on Christian Nation FM, we are doing interviews on different stations, so online radio, Capital FM, um, Money FM, and uh, Christian Nation should be coming up real soon. We uh, have a, an amazing, I can't wait to share this with you, we have an amazing video, um, promo video that's coming out. Like, it's, it's mostly been about, um, you know, just really ramping up the the promotion and letting more and more people know about uh, what the Africana Woman Festival is about. Again, guys, follow us on socials. Um, support us, you know. Uh, we are found across all platforms at Africana Woman. So we are on X, we are on LinkedIn, um, Facebook, uh, Instagram, all just under Africana Woman, you know, search it, you will find us. Uh, if you're ready to get your tickets, uh, you can get it on the website. And that's the only place the tickets are available, guys. Um, it's actually very easy. You can uh, use mobile money or you can use your card. So just go to the website, which is africanawoman.com forward slash festival. The link is in the show notes, but I'm sure that um, it's very easy to find. And yeah, I think over and above, you know, um, there's lots of people who say, oh, I wish I could come to like a wellness retreat and things like that. Um, and that price point may not be for you just yet. But I think that coming for the festival is um, a, is really an affordable price in terms of the value that you're going to get out of it. It's affordable therapy. You're going to come and and just be able to have the most um, the most open, authentic question, um, authentic reflection time. You're going to have uh, the opportunity to speak to others and hear others and learn from others in uh, that you may not have. Or main in circles, you know, in your own personal circles, you may not have those these types of conversations. But to come to an Africana Woman Festival or to come to the Africana Woman Festival, trust me, there is going to be um, something that is going to be activated in your life to really help you in, on your journey of whoever you are becoming. So I'm excited. I'm excited that you are coming, that you are considering, that um, that you are investing in yourself. 
And um, again, if you have any questions, do reach out. You can reach out to us on socials or you can actually email us at africanawoman.com. Oh, sorry, I don't know why I keep saying that. You can actually email us at africanawoman at gmail.com and uh, we'll be happy to answer your questions. Guys, don't forget, we do have a giveaway running this week and you can win a soft glam. Hmm. You can win a soft glam makeup um, by Swick cosmetics okay i love swick i don't know if you guys know this but every time you see me wearing makeup i really wear makeup very rarely <laughs> so when i wear makeup i post i post everywhere anyway um when you see me wearing makeup and it's usually for an event um my lipstick is always swick i wear lusaka i wear zambezi and um we do uh, what is it called now the name is gone do you know where you do like on uh, on the outside, it's like a darker color and the inside is a lighter color or it could be the reverse. I always forget. I'm, I've just forgotten what the term is, but um, that's what I usually do for my lips. Right. So I love Swick and I'm so excited that I can actually um, share this amazing, amazing giveaway with you guys. So all you have to do is go to our Instagram Africana Woman Festival and check out how you can enter. It's very, very simple and um, I'm so excited that you can get a whole makeover guys you can look fabulous with Swick products okay so yeah that's it for me today this is a journey to the Africana Woman Festival my name is Chulu your host and I'll see you next time bye